Hey, how's it going everyone? Sarasota Tim. I'm coming to you from the uh, Boynton Beach Inlet where I come most days, Miss Tammy and I, to walk around out here. It's pretty, you know, you got the water, boats going back and forth. But uh, what I wanted to talk about today was, see this Class B motorhome? Right over there's a Mercedes van. Uh, I see it here all the time, every day or anytime I ever come here. And there's another one that hangs out over here. There's a class, a class C over there. And I live in a camper, as you might know. And I watch YouTube videos about nomadic living. And to me, what I've discovered that I would not want to do is be a nomad where you're trying to live like totally rent free, rent free. You're you're hanging out like at the inlet here or a BLM land, Bureau of Land Management. Because to me, what I've been noticing when I see that van every day, I'm thinking of well, that poor soul, although they choose to be that way. And that's not a cheap vehicle. It's like 150,000 bucks. So he's probably got a big mortgage on it. That's why he can't afford rent somewhere to RV park. But what it, what it makes me feel like when I see them like every day is I've come to the conclusion that I would be like a lost soul, like lonely, that I have nowhere to call like a home base. Now, living in a Class C motorhome or a camper like I have, even though it's tiny or a fifth wheel or something, and you're in an RV park or you stay long periods at a um, national park or state park or something like that, where you're paying and you have full hookups sewer, 20, uh, 30 amp, 50 amp, electricity and, and running water, you know, infinite power and, and water. You don't have to, you know, be sparingly on your um, water and conserving everything. To me, that's the only way to go. So yeah, it costs you money. Well, you know, then uh, work, uh, if you're a young person not retired, uh, work with the computer, get a job, uh, and, and live, you know, where it's a little more economical than maybe buying a house right now or paying high rents at an apartment complex. And it could even be more fun, you know, campfires at night and things like that. But the whole nomad thing, nomad, is uh, to me not, not very inviting. I mean, I see the same van all the time. And I'm thinking, you know what he's doing? Is he's hiding from the northern uh, cold weather. He's waiting for it to, you know, get warmer in the spring. And then he'll travel some other places. And that's fine. Right now, he's kind of sequestered to being right here. But he's not at a, uh, of course, the campgrounds in South Florida <clears throat> aren't like going to Montana or New Mexico and other places where is probably a lot more reasonable on a monthly basis probably very expensive here so you know there's really no shortcut there's really no easy way uh, like I have this camper and I got a home base here in Boynton Beach and I'm getting kind of uh, stir crazy there because I'm in a small little spot and it's not very private because I'm sharing it with one person on one side of me and another person on the other side. So what I'd like to do is, like the guy probably waiting for the weather to warm up, is hook up my camper to the forerunner. I pray to the Lord that it'll pull it and go um, as far as the other side of the country. I definitely want to see the West again. I'm going to be 65, and as far as my bucket list goes, in the past I've had Harley motorcycles and I traveled the country and growing up, uh, we traveled the country across back and forth, moving and seeing relatives. So I've done it all my life and I'm kind of, you know, ready to do it again. So I think that uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe the 1st of April is Miss Tammy and I will do a little traveling uh, with the Wolf Pup camper that I have. And uh, even right here at this pavilion over my side, I come here and I see this electric bicycle. It's not a cheap one. 
and the guy is there, I've never come here and not seen it. And I only discovered today who the owner of it is. I saw him messing with it. I didn't know who owned it. But they always chain it up to a, uh, a picnic table. Now look at all these trees you can chain it to. <clears throat> these concrete uh, poles. <clears throat> but he keeps it under the pavilion. Now, you know, I guess in case of rain or whatever. But I think it's a little bit like, hey, you're, you're, you're glomming the whole picnic table and somebody might want to sit there and have lunch or something. So, I'll show you guys what they're doing over here. They got a crane going and they're uh, rebuilding the Sheriff Marina. Uh, the Sheriff boats used to used to park here. Let me let me walk over here and I'll show you guys. But anyway, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be a nomad. I want to be an RVer. <laughs> full timer so you see they're hammering in these uh, pilings those concrete things hopefully I got the camera pointed right this has got to be the uh, slowest construction build I've ever seen in my life I come here most every day and it's always just nobody uh, has advanced on anything so as we walk on around the Boynton Inlet here, this is where I'm going. It's a big circle. You come in over there, you go around this big pavilion and the bathrooms. Here's a guy in a Westphalia van. And I saw another guy sitting over there in a, a Jeep Cherokee. And I've seen him before, it's been like a month ago. I walked over there. He's got a dog, and he's sitting there. He's got the doors open, towels hanging over his door, a little dog bowl for some water on the ground. And I just think, how can you do it every day? I mean, it's a choice. And, yeah, he's not paying anything. But at night, where do you go? You can't stay here all night. And, uh, you know, you, in a car, as I'm saying, you don't have anywhere to clean up. So I'm willing to go down so far, but not that far. And Miss Tammy, <laughs> she's not real happy about what we got now. We got ourselves in a little bit of a pickle with this wolf pup camper. And uh, <clears throat> that's another story I'll save for another time. But what we're going to do is uh, enjoy it for uh, a few months. We're going to go travel around. And then um, probably sell it. I mean, we can't retire in that thing. If we had a, a bigger one for the two of us with a slide on it, then of course I need more truck than I have. And I only have so many dollars and I don't work, I'm retired. I got social security and I do need a job. We keep talking about that, her as well, to, uh, kind of change things but right now we have enough and a little place and we can travel around and visit some of the state parks and make some videos for you guys in the coming months uh, this summer how long we can stay at it how long uh, it'll be before there's any you know breakdown or trouble with the camper I pray there isn't and uh, we can get a good deal you know on a um, RV park somewhere or something like that I know I watch YouTube videos and this one guy if you go to these national parks and you're 62 years old and you're considered a senior, you can get this yearly pass. I know in New Mexico, they have one. It's like $3 a night and they do have electric. I don't know about the sewer thing, so you'll have to use their facilities there. And, you know, again, that becomes more of the rationing thing. So I'll probably just look for a campground with full hookup or a, uh, an RV park that has a weekly or monthly rate. So anyway, thanks for viewing the video, guys. Uh, we're just chilling out. It's Valentine's Day. I took Miss Tammy to the uh, Banana Boat restaurant that's on the Intercoastal Waterway over here, and we sat outside. It was beautiful. Um, nice boats were going by. We shared a uh, coconut shrimp salad. I had a couple of Bud Lights on draft. 
she drank a Coke, and we couldn't go to dinner tonight at our favorite restaurant, J. Alexander's, and have a steak dinner uh, because everything is booked, as you can imagine. So I'll take her tomorrow or the next day. But uh, that was a that was special as it was, and it wasn't cheap either. But you know, what are you gonna do? We're living our life. So again, thanks for viewing. Hey, uh, if you think about it, you want to use my Amazon link to my videos, I'll put it in the description. I appreciate it. Anything you buy on Amazon, uh, you put in your cart, even if you pay for it in the next couple of days, it'll help me out and doesn't cost you one penny. So if you do that, I appreciate it. If not, don't worry about it. But uh, I'll uh, get back to you guys soon. Hope you everybody had a great Valentine's Day and you crushed it.